At St. James's Palace in London, the British government convened a round table conference on the Palestine question. The colonial secretary, Malcolm MacDonald, knew that the Arab delegation, including representatives of all Arab countries, would not agree to any compromise with the Jewish delegation headed by Dr. Chaim Weizmann. Nevertheless, he summoned both sides, seeking to use the failure of the talks as an excuse for public repudiation of the Peel Commission's partition plan. When the participants dispersed, after five weeks of pointless discussions, the white paper MacDonald prepared indeed proved to be a fatal document for Zionism. It declared that within ten years, an independent Palestine state was to be established. To preserve the Arab majority, Jewish immigration would be limited to 75,000 over the next five years. Acquisition of land would be virtually forbidden to Jews. There was a feeling of depression, of deep depression, of severe pain. All our wonderful endeavors, the absorption of refugees, which was so successful at a time in which it was vital, a matter of life and death for the Jewish people. Now they are locking the gates, closing up, freezing everything. 